um, a history in the record business as he worked for CBS Records. So he understands the business really well. But they say you're very smart. They, you handle your own. Everything goes across your desk. Like well, yeah, actually, I'm the pilot of the, of the plane, yeah. you know. And um, when I got a record deal, I didn't have anybody. I didn't have a manager or anybody. What I did was I hired a lawyer. My lawyer bills were more than my rent every month. And oh. I, and Join I, the crowd. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I spent a lot of money making sure that everything was set up really properly so that nobody could take advantage of me. Then once everything was set up and I had recorded the album, I then found an accountant, a business you know, manager, and I also found my manager. And so therefore, everybody came into the picture after I had established the base, which then gave me you know, creative control. Are you sure you're not Paul Anka? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Anka. A, Paul Anka was very smart <coughs> yeah, like that, very. too. Yeah. What about, are you worried, because you have the bubblegum set at the moment, at the moment, right? That's the kids that really love you. Well, yeah, but... Um, are you the scared of it? No, so the, fickle, you know what I'm saying? Paul and also, like Paul, um, similar to Paul Anka, is um, I write all my own songs. Yeah. So because I'm a songwriter, I feel like the well's deeper when the well's coming from your own wa The yeah. water's coming from yeah. your own well, you know? And um, therefore, I don't feel I'm dependent upon somebody. If I had a producer who came and manufactured me and wrote all my songs, produced all my songs, then I'd be, you know, relying on that person. Whereas now, I'm relying on myself. I write my own songs and I choose my own producers to work with. What about your fans? Now, I, I heard you're very, very, very nice to your fans. Well, I love my fans. And, you know, a lot of people will try to criticize my following and say that they're too young or, you know, I have a teen following. But, um... I think that if you go out and you give a concert to a bunch of kids and they have a blast and they walk away from that concert and it'll be their, the most, the highlight of their summer, you know, that concert right. that night, it's all positive, so why should you criticize that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're influencing people for the good, I don't think it should be criticized. Now, you know, a lot of little teenage girls, you make them go through puberty. They just, you know. <laughs> We have DJ Domino from WPLJ. Oh, he's a friend of mine. Yeah, yeah 95J, right? He's outside the studio, and he got four little girls who thought they were going to come in here and do a video saying hello to you. Oh, really? So they're going to just collapse uh, when they meet you. Let's, so let's see if we can bring them. It's WPLJ. Right? Yeah, Domino. He's, Domino, he's okay. like the, the hottest DJ in town. Girls, come on. How would you like, instead of making a video... And Do we fool you guys? <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, Tommy Page is going to sing his hit song, I'll Be Your Everything, okay? <laughs> we are back. And we're with Tommy Page. He's going to be singing his hit song, I'll Be Your Everything, okay?
Thank you.